Hello everyone, welcome to Rocky Ridge Auto where we are here with this 2020 Chevy Bolt. Um, this is a fully electric EV, just arrived here and just has 24,000 miles on, so super low mileage. Uh, silver in color on the outside and then it's got the gray interior. Uh, this particular one's got the leather seats and it's kind of a two-tone uh, color combination, looks real good. Uh, of course you got power windows and door locks. And then it's got the Bose uh, premium sound. Let's go ahead and take a seat behind the wheel. Go ahead and power it on. You can see just 24,000 miles on the left hand uh, bottom corner of the dash there. Uh, it's got a trip timer right there in the front of your screen. Um, on the left side of the da uh, steering wheel here, uh, you do have cruise control. It's got a heated steering wheel. It's got lane keeper. Um, and then on the right side here, this just takes you through your information center, which is up in the top, which we're scrolling through there. You got tire pressures, average mile per hour, uh, trip timer, which is where we started. So let's go back here and you can go through your audio, your phone, your OnStar nav, if you subscribe to that, you got the layout options. So a number of different things there. Um, too many things to uh, go through in the video here. Um, but that's um, your instrument cluster. We'll go ahead and move over to the, kind of the, the centralized uh, infotainment center. Um, so it does have heated seats and those buttons are right here in the bottom corner of the screen. So you got three different settings, driver and passenger, passenger sides over there in the right side of the screen. Um, so this is kind of the home screen. This is the home screen. That was just the music screen. So if you want to go back to that screen where we were, we just hit the music note. Um, so this is the home screen. Um, you got your Bluetooth device if you have it paired there. Um, over here you got um, the, this, the button next to the home screen is the app screen. So you got projection data there if you want to um, project your phone with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay right onto the screen, you can do that. Um, also got the camera app, which it brings up the camera. So it's got a bird's eye camera, which shows you all the way around the car, as well as just your standard front camera. And then there's also a reverse camera uh, as well. And then there's a blind spot camera, uh, which shows you, this would be the driver's side uh, front and passenger side front. So a number of different things there. When you put it in reverse, that's when your reverse camera will pop up. So I just put it in reverse and reverse camera, uh, it automatically changed to that. Uh, but while you're driving, you can just hit this camera screen and uh, it'll, it'll. there's a number of different settings here, um, but uh, this is the, uh, the screen that it, it stays on unless you go back to the to the home screen. To go to the home screen, you said there is a home button here. You simply just hit that, it takes you right there. Um, Let's go to the music. So, or um, if you want to tune it, you just simply hit the tune button and type in whatever station you want. And then um, let's close this out. There should be a FM station list. Looks like it's updating and we will not wait for that. Um, there's a seek button here. I was looking for presets. I'm not sure exactly where that is. Um, but uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, volume controls are right here on the on the knob. Turn it on and off. You simply just hit the, the center of that, the power button. And then um, traction control is right down here below it, as well as the sport mode. And then, of course, your hazard lights. Climate control is right here on the right-hand side. You can see the temperature adjusting right there. Um, goes all the way up to high, which is 90. And, of course, all the way down to to 60. Uh, obviously the car is automatic and um, to shift it you simply just push in the side button here and then pull it towards you to put it in drive. You can see the D is lit up. Um, put it in reverse, hold that button in again, go uh, all the way up and over to the left and then of course your reverse camera comes up. So super easy to use. Inside the owner's or inside the glove box of course you got the, uh, the owner's manual there. So let's go ahead and take a look in the back seat. So you got seating for three back here. Uh, one thing that's really nice is the seat sits up high so you have a lot of leg room. This is considered a pretty small car, but I got um, a good six inches between my knee and the front seat, so plenty of space. 
It's got a fold down armrest there. So inside the cargo area, a little bit of extra space. It's got this privacy cover. You can take that off if you want. Uh, the rear seats do lay down. Um, there's a latch right here at my left-hand side of your screen at my fingers. You just simply pull that latch and then the rear seat folds down for you. So obviously we are around, uh, walking, making our way around the passenger side. So the car's in great shape. Uh, inside now, super clean. Show you under the hood on these. So this does not look like your typical gasoline engine, which it wouldn't be, it's just electric. So um, everything is uh, got a lot of computers and and plugs and and all that good stuff so one advantage to the evs obviously you can charge it at home um, so there's a convenience factor there but also no oil changes very little uh, maintenance on these things um, brakes typically last longer because the motors do a lot of braking for you um, so um, we're kind of back around to where we started we'll just do a real quick recap it's a 2020 chevy bolt 24,000 miles. It's right here at Rocky Ridge Auto in Ephrata, 480 North Reading Road. Stop by and check it out. Uh, give us a call or shoot us a text. Make sure it's available 717-733-8985. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon.